so hexagon cut. So we aren't talking about brilliant, like brilliant cut diamonds anymore. We're actually in the rough diamonds category for rose cuts. So what does it look like? It's got six edges. It has a flat base and it has a dome. And again, because we're in the rough diamond category, you're gonna have some color and some natural imperfections going on. They are best for lifestyles that are a little bit more relaxed, where they're not really active. The reason being, because they have points that are gonna get caught on sweaters, gonna get caught on like lifting things, moving things, holding things with your hands. So those are not the best choices for people that are extremely active. So to make it classic, Popping a halo, doing a hexagon halo would be a tremendous choice. Also doing a round halo, if you can imagine it, and filling in the space on the lines with extra stones. So essentially you'd have a round shaped look in your setting with that hexagon set in there, but yet it's filled in with diamonds. So it's like a halo times two. A halo with some fill in, with some add. Put a classic band on it, diamond pave band, or just a plain metal band would be still a classic approach to this very alternative stone. So it'd be classic with a bit of a twist. In order to make a hexagon alternative, you really don't have to do much because it's already a really alternative stone. Just the shape alone is very alternative. So if you wanna really, really, really go out on a limb here, pair it with um, yellow gold, rose gold, get some more accent stones clustered around like the side picture, princess cuts, um, pear cuts, even marquee cuts and really just just really go for it, you know? Kind of abandon that halo, abandon that uniformity. That's how you're really gonna put a fresh approach on this hexagon.